drinking. When the camels had done drinking, when the camels were done, when the camels were done, then the man goes in now and it's time for blessing. Oh, it's blessing time in this assembly. It's blessing time. You've been watering camels and watering camels and giving money to other people and sowing into other people's lives and speaking wisdom into other people's lives. You've been on the phone late at night trying to talk some sense to some people who are walking senseless. Amen. And it's watering camels and you're wondering what the H-E double hockey sticks is going on in my life. Everybody else is getting blessed and nothing's happening in my life. When all the camels are done drinking, you give it to TV and you walk, you sacrifice, you send an offering to Benny, you send one to Serena, you send one. You've been sending stuff everywhere. When all the camels are watered, you send money to different countries, you walk with uh, underprivileged people, you walk with people that have been so uh, discontented. When all the camels were watered, you pray for people that you know don't like you, but you still pray for them. When all the camels are watered, amen, you've endured weeping and peril and stress and trouble and trial. When all the camels were watered, what service the Holy Ghost when they walk in this place and start giving out gifts and start giving out blessing and start giving out anointing and start giving out power and start giving out reward. What service? Oh, it's close. This church is about to enter into a breakthrough.
when they look over their shoulder and they see this girl coming, not only does she have water, but she's wearing a crown. She went and ordered girl. See, all churches, even the Methodist church, I don't know so much about the Church of Christ, but Catholic churches and traditional churches, they're all doing songs like we did today. Everybody's doing Kumbaya. Everybody say Hallelujah. Everybody in Africa is beating a tambourine. But the difference is, is the way you dig for water and the way you apply it. Now, all the girls are coming back from the world, but Rebecca's coming back with two things. Number one, she's coming back with the higher anointing, crowned for victory. And number two, she's got company behind her. The Holy Spirit, Eliezer, and ten camels loaded with gifts are coming back to the house. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you know how to dig this well, and you, you manage this well, all kinds of things are going to happen in your life. Don't expect to be banging those 88 keys in the same way you've been doing routinely month after month, year after year. Because when the Holy Spirit starts hitting people, He starts crowning you, all kinds of things start happening in your life. Ask Obedina, your children start getting blessed. Your corn starts growing. Your cows and your sheep start having twins. You can never be the same once you are exposed to this level of gifting. Once your head has tasted gold, it can never go back to wearing a scarf. Once your hands have tasted real gold, you can never go back to wearing a brass ring and shine it because you bought it at a Korean store and it looks like gold, Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> now she has to explain what happened. And she rehearses the whole story. And so verse number 35, quickly children, verse number 35. I love this verse. Verse 34. This is what the servant says. I am Abraham's servant. Notice he doesn't say I am Eliezer. I am Abraham's servant. I am here on a mandate. I am here on a mission. I am Abraham's servant. The Holy Spirit has been sent here to represent the Father. Been sent here to represent the Most High Estate. Sent here to represent God's designated blessing. Sent here to represent His preeminence, His power. Sent here to represent His force. He has come with many gifts, but they are standing there waiting for somebody to start clicking and ticking. Yeah. And so the Holy Spirit says, I am Abraham's servant. And look what he says about, about Abraham. The Lord has blessed my master greatly. He has become extremely great. He's given him flocks and herds and silver and gold, men servants, maid servants, camels and donkeys. Given him so much. In other words, Abraham is extremely wealthy. And Rebecca still trying to fix a little crown right there. Because when you get this kind of blessing, it's just unbelievable when, when this kind of door opens for you. I am so serious. I prayed for a man in Bloomfontein last year. And uh, after a short a number of days in his backyard, he found a diamond as big as my fist. Uncut. Two and a half million pounds uncut. 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 That's three million two hundred thousand dollars. De Beers has that diamond right now. They, they, they're not sure whether they want to tamper with it because it's a, it's an incredible find, an incredible find. And, and when this man was told what he had found, he was pitching himself because when you come into this level of blessing, you, it's just like you can't believe it's happening in your life. It's a quick thing that God's about to do in your life. It's quick because he's, he's no labor. 